that school, I'm sure that they loved that, that, that spontaneous thing um, that you did. But yeah, I want to officially welcome you. Paano ba to, the podcast. Bianca Gonzalez. Yes, that's me. There Paano ba to, That's Tagalog and it sort of means like... Pa- Paano ba to? Yes. Cool. It sort of means like how? how? How to figure this out? Okay, cool. Yeah, more of that. And I wanted to start, of course, with the song that changed it all for you. Mm-hmm. Here's your perfect. Yes. And beautiful song. Thank needless you. to say. I'm the first to say that I'm not perfect And you're the first to say I found it interesting because right now, as we speak, it's close to a billion streams worldwide. Yeah, I think I we just passed that. a billion. You passed a billion? Yeah. That's just <laughs> nuts. That's just absolutely that nuts. wild. So uh, I will say that again. Here's your perfect. A billion streams worldwide. Yeah. With so many other artists singing it as well but rewind to when before you released it i saw that you shared that way back you were thinking of not putting it out yes because it wasn't a hit yeah and now it's at a billion streams <laughs> that's crazy yeah it was so i wrote it but maybe like three years before i put it out so i had, i was sitting on it for a long time um, I was surrounded by a few people that were saying that it's not going to do anything for my career and it's not going to, like you said, be a hit. And something in me felt like differently about it. And I went behind a lot of people's back and I just started posting about it. I started singing the high note on TikTok um, and then just started becoming a trend. And then I ended up putting it out and it became Here's Your Perfect. Wow. So that following your gut definitely served its purpose for you on that one yeah for real i'm glad that it didn't bite me in the butt but what's that war like right Mm. what people who care about you say and what they think about it versus Mm. like you saying no you know what i think i think there's something here i think honestly like all my life like I've just followed my gut whether it be in normal circumstances relationships friendships I've always trusted my gut and I've kind of always had a good track record of being right honestly though if I'm being genuinely honest I didn't think Here's Your Perfect was going to be a hit I just really needed it for myself in that time of my life I, I had got cheated on in a previous relationship and I think I just needed to put it out so I could close a chapter I never really thought that I would do 10 million streams never mind a billion so for me i just wanted to help people who went maybe through the same thing and and even if it reached 20 people i was like it's out i can close the chapter and i remember putting it out it doing not really good on the first week so i was like okay like on to the next one and then it was crazy amazing amazing i mean how does it even feel saying that one billion (laughs) streams that's like what? I can't even fathom it to be honest. I'm like, it's crazy that it's like reached that many people on all over the world and like people singing in Australia or in the Philippines, Indonesia, America. I'm just like, it's like a weird thing, but very exciting. But it's like, you also like, it felt like I was living my life through someone else's eyes in a way. Cause I was like, how is this happening to me? I'm just Jamie. It's wild. I don't know. Oh, I love that. It's like so surreal. But yes, this is your life, believe it or not. You're touring the world. Mm-hmm. And right now you're in the thick of your Manila visit. Yeah. Um, I wanted to dive in on your new music. Mm-hmm. So first I wanted to go to No Matter What. And this is so inspiring because you shared, and I don't want to butcher this, so let me read it. You shared your process in writing this song. Um, sometimes in life you have to hit rock bottom to realize all you need is exactly what you have in front of you and that the dark days and heartbreak never last forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's exactly what a lot of people who listen to my podcast ask me about. Yeah. Those dark days, like clawing through it, not giving up. So yeah, no matter what, great song. Thank you. I went through like a really difficult year last year, just personally. Um, I think after having such a successful song take off, there's no guidebook that mm. comes with that. So like I just went from writing music to like doing so much and i think as grateful as i am and there was just like a lot of people around me that weren't great for me friendships unfortunately that ended that i never thought would end work relationships and i just kind of got burnt out came very lonely within 
myself got really depressed um and i think one thing for me is like people see happiness as money and like people see happiness as like how many followers you have and for me i was just like dang i would trade it all in just to be happy again and i just needed to take some time away from from that and i did i came off tour last year and i took like seven months off just writing music going to therapy and i think for a long time i was like kind of embarrassed to say i was going to therapy but then i got into a frame of mind where i was like yo if it's gonna make me feel better i need i need to go um so no matter what was a song that I wrote as a love letter to myself um, or just the words that I needed to hear and kind of like what my mum always used to say to me. She used to be like, I'm never going to give up on you no matter what, so you better do the same. And that's why I wrote it. Yeah, I felt that everything that you said, you feel it when you listen to the song. But on your socials, it's so funny because you have this series of like friends reacting to it and you saying that it's a song when imagine walking down the aisle to this song. <laughs> like I would never make that connection. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's so beautiful because it's a love letter yeah. to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think it has a double meaning. Like I said it to myself, but I th- I've saw people like have it at weddings of like saying it's their significant other and stuff yeah. like that. So it was like, it's cool that it has a double meaning, but I definitely, even in the music video, it was like me talking to my younger self and then growing up and then going through hardships. Yeah. And I think it was just, it was a well needed moment for me. You know, mm-hmm. I wanted to rewind a bit to what you said about what do you do after such a hit? song and i see that often like there's this mindset that sometimes when you do something so successful after it's like what now or that fear of putting out new things because what if it's never as good as the last one so i mean like how do you navigate that like i said like i didn't put here's your perfect out to become a billion streaming song and i think a lot of times when i do like interviews and stuff they say like are you nervous that you're gonna like you're gonna have to try and get another here's your perfect i'm like i'm not because music isn't about how many times it's streamed it's like it's how it makes you feel you know what i'm saying and i think for me it was more so like if i'm putting out music that helps one person then i'm doing my job i'm not needing money to be put into my bank account because like a billion people have heard the song i just feel like i create music because i love to create music and it helps people and i think if i did have another huge perfect that'd be incredible but at the same time it's like i'm i just feel like i'm so lucky enough to call this my job yeah. and like i'm not worried about having another huge perfect i mean i've, I've got a huge perfect and yeah. i think yeah i don't know it's just i'm grateful for what i have that's such a great mindset to have and i guess you can't let that fear stop you from making more of what you love doing yeah and i mean if you did let the fear stop you then it's just not fun anymore yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah um you also mentioned